The 2024 vice presidential debate is a pivotal moment in the race for the White House. This highly anticipated event will pit Senator J.D. Vance from Ohio against Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz. As the only scheduled debate between the two vice presidential candidates, the stakes are high. Voters will be watching closely as these two individuals present their visions for the country and their qualifications to serve a heartbeat away from the presidency. Senator J.D. Vance is a relative newcomer to national politics, having only recently stepped into the limelight. He rose to prominence as the author of the best-selling book, Hillbilly Elegy, which captivated readers across the nation. This memoir delved deep into the social and economic challenges facing working-class Americans, shedding light on their struggles and aspirations. Vance's conservative credentials and his alignment with former President Donald Trump's policies have resonated strongly with a significant segment of the Republican base. His focus on critical issues such as border security, immigration reform, and the decline of American manufacturing has struck a chord with voters deeply concerned about these pressing matters. Vance's lack of experience in elected office could be seen as both a strength and a weakness, depending on one's perspective. On the one hand, he can present himself as an outsider, untainted by the ways of Washington, and bring a fresh perspective. On the other hand, his opponents will likely attempt to portray him as unprepared for the complex demands of the vice presidency, questioning his readiness for such a high office. Governor Tim Waltz brings a wealth of experience to the debate stage. A former teacher and National Guardsman, Waltz served six terms in the U.S. House of Representatives before being elected governor of Minnesota in 2018. Known for his moderate views and his pragmatic approach to governing, Waltz has earned a reputation as a consensus builder. Waltz's record on issues such as education, healthcare, and economic development will be central to his campaign. He is likely to emphasize his commitment to bipartisanship and his ability to work across the aisle to get things done. In contrast to Vance, Waltz can point to a long record of public service and a proven track record of leadership. The debate, moderated by Nora O'Donnell and Margaret Brennan of CBS News, will follow a traditional format. Each candidate will have two minutes to respond to questions posed by the moderators, followed by one minute for rebuttals. The moderators will ensure a fair and balanced exchange, allowing both candidates ample opportunity to articulate their positions on the issues. To enhance transparency and accuracy, the debate will incorporate live fact-checking. Viewers will be able to access real-time information and analysis through QR codes displayed on the screen. This innovative approach aims to provide viewers with the context they need to evaluate the candidate's statements. Foreign policy is expected to be a major focus of the debate. The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas the escalating tensions in the Middle East and the rise of China as a global power are just some of the international challenges facing the next administration. Vance and Waltz will likely face tough questions about their approaches to these complex issues. Vance, who has aligned himself with the more hawkish wing of the Republican Party, is likely to advocate for a strong military presence around the world. He may also criticize the current administration's handling of the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Waltz, on the other hand, is likely to emphasize diplomacy and multilateralism. He may also call for a more restrained use of military force. Section 6. The economy, healthcare, and immigration. Domestic issues take center stage. These are the issues that touch the daily lives of every American. While foreign policy is sure to dominate headlines, domestic issues will also be front and center in the debate. The candidates will need to address these pressing concerns with clarity and conviction. The economy, healthcare, and immigration are perennial concerns for American voters, and this election is no different. These issues are often the deciding factors for many voters when they head to the polls. Vance and Waltz will need to articulate their plans to address these issues and convince voters that they have the right solutions. Their ability to communicate effectively on these topics could make or break their campaigns. Vance is likely to focus on issues such as inflation, energy independence, and the national debt. These are critical areas where he believes he can make a significant impact. He may propose tax cuts and deregulation as ways to stimulate economic growth. By reducing the tax burden and cutting red tape, he aims to boost business activity and job creation. 
Waltz, on the other hand, is likely to emphasize the need for investments in education, infrastructure, and clean energy. He believes these investments are essential for long-term prosperity and sustainability. He may also call for reforms to the healthcare system and a pathway to citizenship for undocumented immigrants. These proposals aim to create a more inclusive and equitable society. Section 7, Vance's Challenge, Bridging the Gap with Voters. One of the biggest challenges facing Vance is his need to connect with a broader electorate. While his conservative credentials may appeal to the Republican base, he will need to reach out to independent and undecided voters if he hopes to win in November. This will require him to moderate his tone and present himself as a more mainstream candidate. Vance will also need to overcome his lack of experience in elected office. He will need to convince voters that he has the temperament, the judgment, and the knowledge to serve as vice president. This will require him to demonstrate a deep understanding of the issues and a clear vision for the country. Section 8. Waltz's Strategy, Experience, and Collaboration Waltz's strategy is likely to center on his experience and his record of bipartisanship. He will likely emphasize his long record of public service and his ability to work across the aisle to get things done. He may also try to paint Vance as too extreme and too inexperienced for the job. Waltz will also need to energize the Democratic base. With President Biden facing low approval ratings, it will be crucial for Waltz to motivate Democratic voters to turn out in November. He will need to articulate a clear and compelling message that resonates with the party's base. Section 9, The Debate's Impact, Shaping Public Perception and the 2024 Election. The vice presidential debate is a critical opportunity for both candidates to shape public perception and influence the outcome of the 2024 election. This event is not just a platform for policy discussion, but also a stage where candidates can demonstrate their leadership qualities and connect with voters on a personal level. It is a chance for them to introduce themselves to voters, articulate their visions for the country, and draw sharp contrasts with their opponents. The way they handle questions, their demeanor, and their ability to think on their feet can leave lasting impressions on the electorate. The debate will be broadcast live on CBS and streamed on various platforms including the CBS News app and Paramount Plus. This multi-platform approach ensures that viewers can access the debate from virtually anywhere, making it more inclusive and far-reaching. MSNBC, with Rachel Maddow leading their coverage, will also provide live updates, analysis, and commentary throughout the event. Her insights and the network's comprehensive coverage will help viewers understand the nuances of the debate. This extensive coverage ensures that audiences across the country can tune in and engage with this crucial political event. Families, friends, and communities will gather to watch, discuss, and form opinions based on what they see and hear. The outcome of the debate could have a significant impact on the race for the White House. It can energize a campaign, sway undecided voters, and even change the dynamics of the election. A strong performance by either candidate could help to swing momentum in their ticket's favor. It can boost their confidence and rally their supporters, creating a wave of positive energy. Conversely, a gaffe or a misstep could prove costly. Such moments can be magnified in the media and have long-lasting repercussions. As the only scheduled debate between the two vice presidential candidates, this event is sure to be one of the most closely watched and analyzed of the entire election cycle. The stakes are high, and the nation will be watching intently. 